another Fever game, another Caitlin Clark story for us to analyze. And this time, what was supposed to be just another game against the Mystics turned into quite a show. Clark had a run-in with Julie Van Lu on the court, and it got people talking. That's right, folks. Our sensational rookie never lets the dust settle, does she? Every game, there's something new happening. In this one against the Mystics, things heated up. Clark lost her patience with Van Lu's defense, and it got intense. So subscribe to the channel and let's dive in, because this story made waves. A lot of people are saying that Clark likes to draw fouls and was too aggressive with Julie. But hold on, I went in to analyze everything and found some interesting points. Look, moments before this argument, Van Lu was defending Caitlyn like this. It seemed like she really wanted a hug from the rookie, you know? Put yourself in Clark's shoes. Imagine trying to move to receive the ball and your opponent keeps grabbing you, not letting you run. That would frustrate you too, right? And it doesn't stop there. Do you know why Van Lu was defending like that? At the beginning of the game, she got hit with a beautiful step back from Clark. I think that got to her, folks. And it led her to play more aggressively throughout the games. So in my view, Clark was already fed up with this sticky defense. Did she react? Yes, she did. But let's be honest, right? It's hard to stay calm when someone is constantly preventing you from playing. And let me tell you, this isn't the first time Clark has faced this kind of defense. Opponents are realizing they can't leave her alone. But here's the thing, the more they tighten up, the more she shows why she's special. And when I say special, I really mean it. Clark simply made history in this game. Yes, the Fever lost 89, 84, but what she did on the court was out of this world. Check out this stat line, 29 points, 5 rebounds, 13 assists, 5 three-pointers, 5 steals, and 3 blocks. It sounds like a video game, right? But it's real. She's the first player in both the NBA and WNBA to hit all these numbers in a single game. It's surreal. And there's more. Clark never gave up. In the last quarter, when the game was on fire, she showed why she's special. Her comeback was impressive, keeping the fever in the fight until the end. Of course, not everything was perfect. She also broke a record she probably didn't want, the highest number of turnovers by a rookie, reaching 127. But look, with her playing style, sometimes risky and full of bold passes, that happens. The most amazing thing is that even with these turnovers, she still manages to have a huge impact on the game. Imagine when she adjusts that. It's going to be scary for the rest of the league. And I'll tell you, the fever needs to improve the roster or the strategy around her. With a performance like Clark's, it's frustrating to see the team lose. If they can give her more support, this team will go far. And this brings us to Coach Christie Sides. After this loss to the Mystics, Fever fans are heavy on the criticism. And honestly, it's understandable. Look at what happened at the end of the game. With the Fever needing a basket, Sides drew up a play, but it wasn't for Clark. That's right, she left the team's star, who was making history that night, out of the decisive play. Can you believe it? Social media exploded, everyone questioning. How could you not give the ball to Clark at that moment? And it's no wonder. When you have a player of this caliber who is carrying the team on her back, you have to trust her in decisive moments. Many fans are even calling for sides to be fired. It's tense. They feel she's not making the most of the talent she has, especially Clark's. And that's not all. The rotations during the game, the use of timeouts, everything is being questioned. People think Sides isn't getting the best out of this roster. Look, I understand that coaching in the WNBA isn't easy, especially with a star rookie like Clark, but Sides needs to step up. The Fever has the potential to compete for the playoffs, but for that, the coaching decisions need to improve a lot. What do you think? Does Sides deserve more time to prove her worth or has she had enough? Leave your opinions in the comments. Meanwhile, we have to talk about something that's got me excited. Caitlin Clark's growth as a leader of this Fever team. It's clear she's improving with every game. Did you see how she's becoming more vocal on the court? In a crucial moment of the game against the Mystics, with a minute and a half on the clock, Clark gathered her teammates and gave a battle cry. That's leadership, folks. And look at what she said about it. As a point guard, you have to be vocal whether I want to or not. There's no choice. This shows she's understanding her role on the team. She knows her teammates look to her to call plays, to give direction. But the coolest thing is seeing how she's balancing this. Clark says she wants to motivate and encourage her teammates to be someone they can rely on. And there's more. She recognizes she's still learning. Obviously, I'm a rookie and still trying to find my way, she said. This humility, along with her incredible talent, is a powerful combination. 
we're seeing Clark evolve not just in the stats, but as a true team leader. She's learning to handle the pressure, to elevate her teammates' game, and to take responsibility in crucial moments. And I'll tell you something, if she keeps up this pace of growth, the sky's the limit. Clark isn't just playing well, she's changing the culture of this Fever team. And that, folks, is what separates good players from sports legends. But we can't talk about Caitlin Clark without mentioning the fierce competition for Rookie of the Year. And according to analysts, Angel Reese is giving her a run for her money. Look, the competition is so tight that their rankings just updated. And guess what? Reese passed Clark and took the lead. That's right, folks. But hold on, the game isn't over yet. Reese is doing an amazing job. She's on a streak of 14 consecutive double doubles, but Clark isn't lagging behind. What she's doing in the league in terms of records, both on the court and in viewership, is simply deserving of Rookie of the Year. But it seems some people think otherwise. ESPN even pointed out where she needs to improve to reclaim the lead, reduce turnovers, and improve her defense. And there's an important detail. ESPN noted that rookie point guards generally have a harder time adjusting to the league than centers. This puts Clark's performance into an even more impressive perspective. Now let's not forget there's still a lot of season left. Clark has time to adjust these details and get back to the top of the rankings. And knowing her, I bet she'll give it her all to do that. The best part of this competition is that regardless of who wins the award, the WNBA is the big winner. This competition is drawing a lot of attention to the league, increasing viewership and interest in women's basketball. So guys, who do you think will win the award in the end? Clark is still my favorite, but the competition is too exciting. It's clear we're reaching a crucial moment in the season. The fever is in a tough spot, fighting to make the playoffs, and the pressure is mounting with each game. Clark is doing the impossible on the court, but will it be enough? The team urgently needs more wins, and everyone is looking at our rookie to make it happen. And there's more. Opponents have already figured out that to stop the fever, they have to stop Clark. The defense is getting tougher, more physical. How will she handle that? Coach Christy Sides is on the hot seat. If the team doesn't respond soon, a change in command could happen. And how would that affect Clark and the rest of the roster? Not to mention the fierce competition for Rookie of the Year. Clark needs to maintain this incredible level of play and still improve in some aspects to surpass Reese. The schedule isn't helping. There's a tough stretch of games coming up. Will the Fever manage to stay in the playoff race? A lot is at stake, folks. The next games will define not only the Fever's future this season, but could shape Clark's entire career in the WNBA. It's now or never. We're living a unique moment in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark is rewriting the history books game by game, and we're here to witness every play. Even with all the challenges, Clark keeps shining. She's proving she's much more than hype. She's pure skill and determination. And the best part, this is just the beginning of her career. Imagine what she'll do once she really gets the hang of the league. When the Fever manages to build a stronger roster around her, the future is bright. But now, I want to hear your opinions. What does Clark need to do to lead the Fever to the playoffs? Does she deserve the Rookie of the Year award despite the tough competition? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the bell so you don't miss any analysis and updates. We'll see you in the next one, guys.